Manchester United beat West Ham in a game that had a thrilling conclusion. After West Ham had gone ahead thanks to a deflected said Ben Rama shot, United replied with Cristiano Ronaldo slotting home. At the second opportunity, after seeing his initial shot saved, the game was cagey from then on. With the breakthrough chance coming in the 89th minute from substitute Jesse Lingard. West Ham thought they had been given a lifeline against United in the closing seconds, as a handball by Luke Shaw gave the home side a penalty, but miraculously after failing to save one in the previous 40 times of asking, David De Gea saved Mark Noble's spot kick to secure United the three points. Oh, Gunnar Solskjaer's tactics and substitutes were on point today, allowing for the team to attack. Effectively. That however is not the aim of this piece. Has scored four goals in three games so far. Since rejoining United. He scored the goal today and arguably should have won the team too. Penalties with his quick feet. But I think even at 36 years old and with five Ballon d'Ors to his name, Ronaldo has room for improvement and I'm going to tell you about my major concern with the player going forward. Now Ronaldo has been in excellent form scoring four goals in three games and this has been hand in hand with a high volume of shots. Against West Ham, he had six shots, with five on target. Wherever he has gone this has been a trend that the player takes a high number of shots. In his last season two seasons with Juventus he registered 5.4 per 90 minutes in 2020-21 and 6.4 per 90 in 2019-20. When he's on the ball he will always look to shoot, to use a term from basketball. He is a black hole player. When you pass him the ball you better not expect it to go back out to anyone else. Some of the best players in the NBA on their day can be black hole players. Putting the whole team's offensive output on their back, the late great Kobe Bryant is a good example and it can be important sometimes as those players will carry a poor team through. However, Two things to consider here are one, football is a completely different sport to basketball, and two what if a player is taking all those shots but isn't having the desired impact, in this case with Ronaldo, not scoring the goals. There were two major examples today where Ronaldo could have passed to Mason Greenwood and it would have been a guaranteed goal. The second I We'll let him off because due to a poor ball by Vladimir Kufal, Bruno Fernandes played Ronaldo in and provided him with a good chance in front of the goal which any striker would take. Greenwood had made a good run into the box and was free out on the right, but you'd expect any striker to take the shot and it was only a good save that denied Ronaldo his brace. The first instance however is inexcusable. Having been played through behind the West Ham backline, Ronaldo and Greenwood were running parallel to the goal. All the defenders and even goalkeepers had gravitated towards the Portuguese forward, leaving Greenwood free and Ronaldo had seen this. However, Ronaldo tried to get the ball under control for his own shot rather than playing Greenwood in first time to secure a goal. Now I would say there was a chance Ronaldo didn't know whether his teammate was onside. But Ronaldo shooting a lot and his teammates goal scoring falling off is part of a worrying trend. During Ronaldo's time with Real Madrid, Karim Benzema had a real mixed back of a time next to the Portuguese forward. In only one season did he register over 20 goals. Since Ronaldo left, Benzema has become the main man at Madrid, scoring 20 goals in every season and is considered one of the best strikers in world football. Paolo Dybala at Juventus was also an example. Before 
Ronaldo arrived. He scored 22 goals in Serie A taking 3.5 shots per 90 minutes. However, during the three years Ronaldo was at the club, he only scored 20 goals in Serie A combined and averaged 2.6 shots. Per 90 minutes his assist numbers have also dropped off in recent years, with the player registering 16 and 11 in the 2014-15 and 2015-16 La Liga season respectively, but since then his highest league total has been 8. Ronaldo is one of the best players in world football so you would expect him to be the main man, however one of the biggest influences I feel he can have on the pitch is his ability to draw defenders to him. Ronaldo is obviously a threat up front and due to the name, many players panic in a bid to stop him. By doing this Ronaldo would be able to give the other attacking talent United have at their disposal a chance to shoot unimpeded and I feel like this is something that will hopefully come with time. But to get the best out of Ronaldo, he needs to realize that sometimes he needs to consider a pass rather than go for a shot. Of course, when it comes to the bigger games and we need someone to step up, Ronaldo will be there. He is an on-field general and a bona fide superstar who will drive United forward when things look bad. But he'll also be there alongside the likes of Greenwood, Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Jadon Sancho and soon to be Marcus Rashford among others who he needs to remember can take some of that burden off his shoulders.